G'day YouTube, Nick here from Lion Dundee. Uh, today we are going to install Gin Ferret or Gin Spoiler, whichever you want to call it. Um, so, came as a pack off Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below for the uh, where I bought it from. Um, comes with the three bolts which will go inside um, the plate, one here, one here, and one on the mounting. Uh, a couple of screws which will then screw on the secondary mounting part which will sit inside there as such and the two larger screws which will sit on the bike which I'll show in a second so pretty much parts I've got is a I think it's a 5 16th um, small uh, ratchet bit and I think this one is an 11 16th for the bigger screw uh, bigger bolts also, we'll need an extender um, just to get to the mount through this hole here, um, as you can see, probably there, this hole here. Um, so, let's get started. So, first thing with this part, I need to screw it into these two holes here. So, let me do that very quickly. So, nice and tight with these two screws in there. I think you can see them there. Um, <clears throat> I will put thread locker blue on the smaller nuts and the bigger nuts uh, as I put it into the bike. So that's pretty much it for the spoiler part. We'll go and put the frame and the housing on now. So pretty much, as you can see, the fairing will sit kind of like that. Adds a bit of aesthetics. And the bonus of having the actual scoop as well is it allows more air to flow up into the engine as well, which obviously cooling down the engine a little more. So with the mount, it's going to sit as such with the, the, um, with the attachment point or the anchor point facing on the outside and the two other bolts going underneath the frame of the bike such so I'm gonna get a little bit of um, blue Loctite on there uh, just make it around like that doesn't have to be much something that will just screw on something like that maybe a little bit more just to the oh it's probably a bit too much but we'll filter it down so pretty straightforward screw goes in or bolt goes in through there to a mounting go hole. So I'll come back in a second after I've installed this part and you'll see what I mean. So that's the finished product. Um, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's a couple of screws underneath there that they just tie into that frame. Um, I think the hardest part for this was the actual putting the small screw through the hole, trying to find the other hole in there. But apart from that, worked out well easy kind of an easy install i suppose um, the trick is to loosen the two little bottom ones when you're finding the the one through the bigger hole so i hope you enjoyed the um, the install um, hopefully there's more to come and we'll get some more parts to it i think it looks kind of good i'll take a couple of photos uh, of the whole bike a bit later just to show what it looks like so if you did like it don't forget to subscribe like the post, leave a comment, and um, have a good day, guys. Catch you later.